Hello there, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Pris uh, from uh, You and I Play. Oh, quite a small thing, as you know, and I haven't been around recently. Um, in short, as a very brief explanation, uh, I moved in with my father in Maidstone, and. Um, we didn't have internet for a while, and we had to move shortly after I moved in. So it was kind of unfortunate, and there was a lot going on, and oh, it's a mess. Life's a mess. You're always going to get that kind of thing, though, so keep your chin up, don't worry about it. This game here is Banished. This is what I like to think of as my AFK game. It thinks like sometimes the paradox games like Crusader Kings and Europa Universalis I'll do a very similar thing to that I'll um, what I'll do is I'll start these up and I'll either start a new game or I'll load up a previous game which I've been playing and I'll just let it run on the lowest speed and yeah okay I'll have to tweak some things every now and then but I just I just let it run and what I'll do is I'll either be writing something in paper or um, yeah just kind of not necessarily focusing on it in fact one of my favorite things to do is actually to listen to podcasts and um, and vlogs actually I know it's weird I listen to vlogs whilst playing a game but whatever on that note though um, <laughs> Well, I've just listened to I've just listened to um, Markiplier's video. Um, he's he's titled it "I Feel Lost," and he he goes out of his way right at the beginning to say, "Look, I'm not depressed. I'm not down. I I'm just." He's reminiscing about the past. He's feeling nostalgic as he put it. And he's really gone out of his way to say hey, I really care about my fans. I really love seeing the fans make stuff and do stuff and to essentially grow as people and to develop their skills as a part of their, essentially their adoration for Markiplier himself and he's 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 tried to state look this isn't him trying to garner even more attention he's not trying to just get people to um <laughs> to worship him in a sense what he's trying to do is he's trying to encourage people to grow and develop their skills um because he's already got a bunch of people following and worshipping him and he just wants to see them grow instead of just sitting there and watching his videos or at least that's the message which I'm getting and I don't know he he seems he seems concerned one of the things that really got to him was about how he couldn't make as much of an impact as he'd have liked um, and he wasn't sure if he was making the right kind of, well okay if I remember correctly his words were I can't help every single one of you and if I can't help every single one of you I lose heart in helping everyone. I'm paraphrasing it enormously. I can't remember exactly what he said because I'm, I'm a bit shocked that he's... Well, I'm not shocked at all that he's put it on most of video. He does that. He does that quite frequently. And he's always heartfelt and always... I feel genuine. But regardless, it's one of those, oh, damn, okay. Because he's just gone out there and he's put out something and he's really tried to just put his heart out and to say, hey, I care about you guys. Please keep going. And yeah, it's 
it's awesome. It's awesome. I... There's a reason why I'm making this video. There's a reason why I'm sitting here recording my people wander around, just going their day-to-day -day business. And it's a bit of a it's a bit of a story for me because one of the things he said he was an introvert, but seeing other people react and create things from his stuff, the fact that he can influence other people means a huge amount to him. And I can relate really strongly to that. I'm definitely introverted. My initial reaction to problems or issues or any kind of dilemma is to look inwards. If I make a mistake, my first instinct is to blame myself. If I make a mistake, my first instinct is to say, okay, I screwed up, how can I avoid that again? That's how I run, that's how I focus. But I imagine other people, um, well, it, no, it doesn't matter what other people say, what am I talking about? That doesn't matter. The point is, is that my reaction is very much that. And I imagine Markiplier is very similar. And <laughs> the thing I'm trying to say is, is that um, as a kind of a message to Markiplier or people like Markiplier, they do, or to a lot of people actually, this is a message to a lot of people. What of things, what a lot of people don't seem to realise is that people change each other in really subtle ways, in, in, in ways which they just can't imagine, in ways which are really difficult to kind of understand and replicate. Um, because, well, we're human beings, I don't know, it, the, the way in Markiplier's circumstance, he feels that he's not able to help uh, perhaps as many people or he's not able to make a direct positive influence on people because he has so many people that he wants to help. He gets messages about how he saved lives by keeping people's spirits up and how he's, um, and how he's put out these meaningful messages that have made people think and grow and mature as people and emotionally and he feels it, that really empowers him, that really pushes him to go out there and do even more stuff and that's great but he feels that he hasn't made as much of an impact <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> these horse animations are terrible I am running a mod for this, that's why they're like that. The ge base game's not like that. Ah, that's completely ruined the mood. I'm so sorry. Markiplier, listen to me, chap. Listen to me. I know that, from your mind, you're not doing as much as you used to. It feels like you're doing less. It feels like you're sitting down and you're making videos and you're not helping people. Because there's a wider audience and because you you have this schedule of making videos, your focus is getting the videos out, keeping as many people as possible pleased within that envelope of the, was it, 17 million subscribers, which is quite frankly ridiculous. 17 million people, can you, can you try and picture, like, how much space would be needed to fill 17 million people? I don't know, I can't even begin to imagine that. 17 million people, I, my first thought is, that's a small country's worth. That's 17 million people in their day-to-day, -day, like, life is, quite frankly, outrageous. I can't imagine what that's like. I, well, okay, I kind of can, but not accurately. But the thing which Markiplier, I believe, doesn't quite realise or has missed is that 
in his efforts to help people directly, he's also helping people indirectly. There's a, there's this, there's always this thing when whenever you're online of the loud minority. You have the loud minority. You have the people out there who are always complaining, always reacting, always always putting their voice out there, and you know. It's 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 it usually you know, I say usually, oftentimes they can be the negatives. They can be the trolls, they can be the um the people who don't necessarily push in the right direction. I mean that's the whole point of the loud minority. They're the first ones to react, they're the first ones to say something, but it's not necessarily representative of the larger whole. But they're still important. I'm not saying that, you know, loud minorities are bad, don't say anything, people there. No, we need those kinds of people in society for sure. But anyway, the point is, is that Markiplier will undoubtedly see those kinds of people. He will get the loud minority. He will say, oh my God, Markiplier, you saved my life. I really mean this. And he'll also get people who will say, who will say that kind of thing and who aren't allowed minority. They're normally, you know, what sometimes the internet refers to as lurkers. They don't post much, they don't put their voice out much, but they read and they observe a lot. And they're important too. But the 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 amount is still the same. Like if we had a pie chart in front of us, like you know, if we had this circle, there'd be we'd have a small like percentage that would be the loud minority would be like 10% or something, but then 50% or, I'm really, I'm absolutely guessing, I have no idea exactly how many, but 50% would be saying, hey, we really like your stuff, but I'm just happy to watch it, and they won't necessarily even put a like on it, or they're not even going to think about commenting, they sit down, they watch a video, yeah, they enjoyed it. And then they move on. And Markiplier, listen to me, chap. You're going to get loads of people who you're going to be helping just by making the videos. And I'm one of those people. Like, I'm... I, ugh. So I've been through a bit of a, a rough few months recently. Because, one, I moved back... Oh, well, I moved in with my father. And that's from living in the shared house. So I've kind of take, taken a step down. I've kind of taken a step back. I feel like I'm going backwards in a sense. And, you know, that's a fall. I don't like it. It, it feels like I've lost something. So that's a bit of a down. Now, I haven't... I haven't had work for three months. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, that's because I've just been feeling so insecure about finding work. I, I've struggled with depression for a while, and for a while I mean years. Absolutely years. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm recovering now. I've switched medication a few times. This one is definitely having an effect, but... I've got therapy that's gonna, that I'm going to sign on to at some point as well. It's I'm working on it. Okay, I'm looking for work again now. I'm I'm going through it, and <laughs> it sounds really depressing. It sounds really really depressing. But honestly, the message isn't. Oh my God, life is such a struggle. The message is is that despite how difficult life is. I'm coping, and I'm coping because every so often I'll sit down and I'll watch a video of Markiplier's and I'll say, oh, that was really satisfying. And sometimes I just, you know, I'll watch some, what I call, complete and utter pure shit. Shit, which is like, it's like a Happy Wheels video. I'll sit down and I'll just watch a Happy Wheels video, and the Happy Wheels video, I'm thinking specifically for Markiplier, by the way, I'll watch a Markiplier Happy Wheels video, and a Happy Wheels video will just be him, like, um, 
doing some... It's just silly. It's just nonsensical. He'll watch his character get completely blown against a wall because they've strapped, like, eight oversized ro rockets to a wheelchair. Or he'll try and make this old man walk across a tightrope and then fall and it's 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 and he'll get you know completely decapitated on the way down by something which you couldn't even see because it passed by in the blink of an eye because he fell so far and it's completely nonsensical and it's not everyone's cup of tea but for me sometimes i just need something small and simple and stupid like that and it's complete and utter shit, but I laugh and it's funny and I just need that just to help me get through the day sometimes. And sometimes I'll watch stuff like what I just mentioned before, the I Feel Lost video. Sometimes I really feel uplifted just by having him create content specifically for us, like a, a direct video to us. Because yeah, there's making entertainment and entertainment is awesome. I listen to the, uh, the podcasts. I, I watch YouTube videos of Let's Plays and things, and that's cool. Like, it's entertainment. I like to see how other people do things. I love being a lurker in that sense, and observing stuff, and just seeing the world go on. I mean, hell, that's what I'd like about Banished Here. I like just watching people go back and forth and do their daily jobs. I like just observing the world. This is why I have it on slow. I could have it on speed 10 and then shit would get done. Things would happen. But I don't want to. I just want to let it roll along. I just want to watch the world happen. And I can't, I can't do that nearly as well without the occasional break. And Markiplier gives that break really well. So, <laughs> don't worry about it, dude. I know you're perhaps concerned and worried that you're not making as big as impact before, but you've got 17, or nearly, as of recording, 17 million subscribers. That's a lot of people. And for every person who you receive a message that says, Oh my gosh, you're the biggest thing in my life. You mean everything in the world to me. I wouldn't be alive without you, etc. You have another million or so people who... Well, I say a million. It's an exaggeration. But there are, there's quite possibly literally thousands of other people who won't respond, they won't comment, they they might not even like the video, like literally click the like button. They, or they might not even like it at all, but that's still a view, that's still someone who's viewed a video, that's still someone who's been impacted by the video. And a lot of the time it'll be a positive a, a response, oh, sorry not a response, it'll be a positive influence. You don't necessarily need to hear back. I know it's it sounds strange because if you don't hear from people, how do you know they're okay? But sometimes just making the effort, sometimes just doing something is enough. It's like it's it's the reason why um, why people are stern in the army. It's, it's the reason why you have a uniform. It's the reason why the Prime Minister or the... the whatever. It's the reason why leaders have to be politically correct, because they set an example and and that is a positive influence. It, it I, sounds like I'm applying pressure, pressure now, but I'm really not trying to. I'm trying to say that no matter what just keep doing what you're doing by being yourself, by making videos and being honest and doing these things which is natural to you. You are making content which influences and attracts people and helps them get through life. And that message is basically tailored to Markiplier himself personally, but honest to God, everyone should be taking that message away with them. Like, seriously. 
there's a reason why people say you should go out and just smile to people. Yeah, I know it's probably the creepiest thing in the world to go out, to go outside, walk up to someone in the street and just grin at them. Like they would, they would probably freak out and like call the police or something. But there's a reason why people say to do that kind of thing, because especially if you're like me and you're an introvert, if someone comes to me online and just says hey how are you doing I, 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 I automatically just brighten up a huge amount because I find it exceptionally difficult going out to other people I have loads of friends who I want to spend time with but I just find it so difficult starting the conversation initially or trying to find what I feel like is the best time to go out there and say hello. So when someone else comes to me and just says hello, just just interacts with me in any way, form or whatsoever, I immediately feel so much better. I'm like, oh my god, someone wants to spend time with me. Someone appreciates me just existing, just being alive in itself means a lot and just pushes me through in life. So sometimes just the status quo is enough. Sometimes just saying hello to your friends. Sometimes just being there and listening. Sometimes just making the same old videos or just continuing to make the stuff that you really appreciate really makes a difference you don't have to constantly oh you sorry you don't have to necessarily receive messages saying oh you saved my life oh you changed my life etc to know that you're making a difference i guarantee that you change the world you change the world just by being in the world and I know that it's, it's one of those things where you can easily argue that, yeah, but are you a positive force or a negative force? That's regardless. If the more... It's been scientifically proven that the more positive you're thinking, the more energy you have, the more likely you are to actually have energy and go out and do stuff. So please, please guys, Believe me, you are a positive force in this world. You are... You are changing the world. You are making the world a better place. And sometimes just the small things really matter. Don't think you have to be a superhero to be amazing. Don't think you have to... You have to literally save someone's life to be worthy of life yourself. Don't. No, please, come on. <laughs> You're awesome. Just hang in there. Just hang in there. Just keep going. And know that. Just by interacting with people. Just by people seeing seeing you on, on the high street. Or just by... Just by existing. You are somebody's positive influence. Because, I don't know about you, but there's a reason why it's called a post-apocalypse. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here, because um, I've got guests to deal with. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll catch you another time. Ta-ta for now.